Hi everyone, this is Angie Wong and I'm president of Legacy Pack. I just want to thank all of our followers. We're close to 100,000 followers on Facebook and we've only been around for a few short months. So thank you again. I'm going to ask you for your continued support leading up to 2024. Please donate to legacy-pac.org. That's legacy-pac.org. Thank you and we'll see you on the campaign trail. <laughs> but you're uh, you're gonna do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes, great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you're with us. Mike Acton. We know about energy, we know about the border, we know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that, we get all that, but why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission, that's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. We support the next generation of conservative leaders. We just want people, good people, good, solid patriots. They're not embedded in like the, the establishment. I am a political outsider. Uh, I am by trade, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First PAC and we want to promote and help our uh, up-and-coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9-11, and I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them, so let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who were looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for having back. Well, Debbie, can you kind of just tell me, I kind of get the sense on whose side you're on, how are you feeling about the 2024 Republican primary? I think Donald Trump will win. Uh, I was a big, big supporter of Ron DeSantis uh, before now. I was always going to support Trump in 2024, but once all these people, I even wrote Ron DeSantis' name in for governor because I didn't want to vote for Keith. That's Georgia. how much, yes. And I, when all these people that are on here started, when you have Karl Rove, Jeb Bush, Mitch McConnell, and a lot of the establishment figures that are supporting DeSantis, I did a deep dive research, and I did not like what I found. What about, uh, Trump has gone after DeSantis in a lot of things. Yes. What, two things that stick out to you about DeSantis. 
Uh, number one about DeSantis is who he's supporting. Uh, my grandfather used to tell me, he said, Debbie, if you lay down with dogs, you're going to get up with fleas. Well, Governor DeSantis is laying down with people that we have been fighting, that are anti-MAGA, that want to destroy MAGA, they want to destroy Trump. That was the first thing. Uh, another thing, okay? I will be 65 in August, okay? I found out that Ron DeSantis wants to cut, and he voted three times to cut Social Security and Medicare and to privatize it. At the same time, he was voting and advocating to, advocating to send billions to Ukraine. At the same time, you want to cut Social Security and Medicare. And I don't believe that he's changed. Those are the, the big two red flags, the people he supports, his track record. In 2019, I still have the headlines where he said, I mean, he was clearly in favor of red flag laws. Uh, Governor DeSantis, I don't like the people he's affiliated with. And I can tell you, I will go on record, I am, I am a lifelong Republican. I have voted for pre a Republican president every time in, since 1976. And if Donald Trump is not the nominee, I will vote third party. I will not vote. And Ron DeSantis, I wouldn't vote for him or anything. And I just think it's about issues. Come on, you have somebody that wants to cut uh, folks like me, Social Security and Medicare, while he's sending, advocating to send billions to Ukraine. You take care of your people first before you send all this money to so you, you talked about how you've been doing your own research as of late. Was that kind of just something just that was talked about? Or did you see President Trump start talking about it and be like, oh, I didn't know that? No, no, I've been going, actually, okay, uh, especially on Twitter, I'm at Crimson Titer on Twitter. I've been going after it. Uh, Ron DeSantis is like, you know, hell have no fury like a woman scorned. Well, I felt like Meg has been scorned because he is a mega pretender. And when you look at his record, he is not MAGA. I've been going after him. I was going after him uh, a month before Donald Trump ever said anything. And a lot of the folks here uh, were doing the same. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, came out and started attacking. We were out there a month prior going after him. I call him Rhino Ron. Rhino. Rhino Ron. You voted, uh, I guess you wrote him in, right? Mm -hmm. For the, that was for the primary or for the general election? General election. Gotcha. I could not support Ron Kim. Right. And so... Uh, but why, why, why choose Ron DeSantis at the time? Obviously, well, maybe you know, you've looked at the things more now, right? But, yes. Uh, Ron DeSantis, you know, I always tell activists that follow me, I'm also Atlanta Tea Party too, I always do your research. Well, I didn't do my research. And I took him at face value. And then when I started, you know, I saw these people that were backing him. I mean, the Bushes and Carl Rowe were running DeSantis' campaign. And when I saw all the folks backing him, I said, uh, something's not right. So I actually investigated. I, I mean, I have a whole list of things. I've got a substack where I actually put it all in. You know, he went after the J6 instead. And I don't uh, approve of that. And I think a lot of the red uh, about J6 since the videos have been released. Uh, but, I mean, the red flag laws, come on. In 2019, coming out saying red flag laws save lives. Uh, another thing uh, that was that uh, he voted, joined 30 Democrats when he was in Congress to make Puerto Rico a state. And that's something that should not be done. He is a Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, Republican. He has not had a road to Damascus conversion. He has had Ron DeSantis road to the White House conversion. He is, he is phony and he is fake. Debbie, last couple quick questions. Um, I know you're rooting for Trump. Do you think it'll be a tight fight for the primary? No, I, I don't think so because of the people that I've talked to. Uh, like I said, I've been a Republican activist since 1976. I got so fed up with like the Bush cabal that controlled the Republican Party 
uh, when things would get tough, they would not stand and fight. They would, these Bush Republicans will say one thing when they're a candidate and just make all kind of promises. And once elected, they make excuses. They cower in a fight. Donald Trump is a disruptor. That's why I supported him in 2016. That's why I support him now. And, you know, I, I'm volunteering my time, to, you know, to help this. And, you know, the bottom line is, he's, Trump's fought for us. No other person has withstood the attacks and the threats that Trump has. And he's still standing. The more they attack him, the more he stands strong. And no one else will do that. I don't care about his rhetoric because I wanted to disrupt her. He, um, I think it was last Saturday, maybe the Saturday before then, said that he could potentially be arrested last week, I yes. believe, or maybe the week before. Nothing has happened yet. But just what do you think about the situation? And then when you talk to other Republicans in Georgia, how do they feel about a potential indictment or arrest? Of Trump? Well, I, I think everybody knows that so. Uh, Democrat DAs overusing their authority and that they are uh, investigating and prosecuting based on political ideology. Uh, and I think it's wrong. I think I can tell you now, and the polls bear it out, after it leaked that he was going to be arrested by the Manhattan DA, then all of a sudden all the support uh, have, had gone. I think it increased his support and it made people realize he's still standing. He's still fighting for us. And, and I think that that's huge that he's done that. Nobody else has. You didn't have uh, George Bush, the first George Bush. You didn't have uh, George W. Bush fight for us. I mean, look at the Republicans in the Senate. But, you know, they cower. And we want a fighter and a disruptor. Uh, I'm tired of the, you know, our intelligence agents, including the DOJ, has been weaponized against their own people. And that's wrong. And I think Trump can put a stop to that. Debbie, can I just get your full name spelled out real quick? Uh, Debbie Dooley, D-E-B-B-I-E, D-O-O-L-E-Y. And you're with uh, Veterans for Trump, correct? Yes, I'm a national ambassador for Veterans for Trump, also uh, Atlanta Tea Party president. How long have you been in that Veterans for Trump? Program? It's been for about a, six it's months. It's a little longer. Okay, yeah. so Time goes fast, about a year. Campaign. Yeah, and I'm also gotcha. one of the 22 national co-founders of the Tea Party movement. Okay, gotcha. And you're, you're based out of here in Springs? No, I'm, I'm in uh, Barrow County. Gotcha, gotcha. Debbie, thank you for the time. Thank